Good afternoon sisters. Welcome to our Relief Society and Young Women Devotional this 30th day of August 2020. To start, we will sing a children's song in song, a hymn number 105, The Holy Ghost. The opening prayer will then be offered to us by Sister Karen Libri of the Young Women Presidency. Father, thank thee for this wonderful opportunity that once again we are gathered virtually to hear messages from thy leaders. Thank thee, Heavenly Father, for the many blessings that thou hast showered upon us. Thank thee for the blessings of life, uh, love, and career. Thank thee, Heavenly Father, also for the family we have uh, um, help us strengthen um, us and help us grow to become a better person. Um, thank the Heavenly Father for for the gospel that we have in our lives, that we are strengthened, and uh, which help us also during this time, Heavenly Father. Um, thank the Heavenly Father for the food that we are able to eat also during these times, during these hard times. Um, na wala in town me na guto ugihapo wala minimo pasalti. Um, thank the Heavenly Father for the leaders of thy church, especially for the prophet which continually receive um, revelation from thee. Thank the Heavenly Father for uh, the Holy Ghost which continually guide us with our choices in life. Oh, we ask thee to please um, bless us continually. Um, bless us that we will be comforted and we will be more understanding to the people around us and um, we uh, ask the also Holy Father to please forgive us of our sins for the many things that we have done wrong to you and to others um, please forgive us Holy Father and this is our prayer in the name of thy son Jesus Christ Amen Our speaker for this afternoon is Sister Jessica Malikai of the Relief Society Organization. Sister Jessica. Mayong hapon, sisters. O magpasalamatan ko sa atong Ward Relief Society Presidency nga yatagan ko nila og opportunity nga makatok sa inyo ha karong po na. Sa pagsugod, akong topic kay may tungod sa Gifts of the Spirit. Nga nung gihatagan kita, huwag sama ni ini nga gift of the Spirit. At mabasa sa scripture diha sa Doctrine and Covenants section 46 verse 9, huwag diri giingon, For verily I say unto you, 
they are given for the benefit of those who love me and keep all my commandments. And him that seeketh so to do so to do that all may be benefited that seek or that ask of me, that ask and not for a sign that they may assume it upon their lust. So spiritual gifts are given as a blessing and benefit to those who love God and keep His commandments. O giyang role is to help each of us na ma-achieve ang atong goal sa to have eternal life. And sunod is, what are gifts of the Spirit? So according to Elder Robert D. Hales of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles in his talk from the Ensign Magazines, February 2000, that these gifts of the Spirit are encompassed by the gifts of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is the third member of the eternal Godhead and is identified as the Holy Spirit. So this Holy Spirit is a gift from God to help us make the decisions that will allow us to find and fulfill our mission. Sa Doctrine and Covenants, Yihapon, Section 45, Diri, identify ang mga specific gifts of the Spirit. So, dagan ni siya, pero nagkuan lang ko diri o gamay ng mga verses. So, sa verse 11, Diri, giingon, For all have not every gift given unto them, for they are many gifts, and to every man is given a gift by the Spirit of God. So, diri giklaro nga sa matag usa ka na to, kay gihatagan o gift or gifts, o nahibalo ba kita kung unsan ni nga mga gifts, o nagihatag sa ato, ah, o sa verses 13 to 14, diri nag-ingon, to some it is given by the Holy Ghost to know that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that He was crucified for the sins of the world. To others, it is given to believe on their words that they also might have eternal life if they continue faithful. So, pinaagi sa gift of faith, kita makabaton, o gift of prophecy or testimony. So, tungod niya na, ng mga gifts kita mismo sa atong kaugaling ang kay maning kamot para mapadayo na to ang hugot na pagtuo o pagsunod sa mga commandments sa atong langitong amahan o ng Yesu Kristo. O, ang sunod, how do we recognize the gifts of the Spirit? Diri mabasa na to sa Doctrine and Covenants section 6 verses 14 to 15. Diri nag-ingon, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Blessed art thou for what thou hast done. For thou hast inquired of me, and behold, as often as thou hast inquired, thou hast received instruction of my spirit. If it had not been so, thou wouldest not have come to the place where thou art at this time. Behold, Thou knowest that thou hast inquired of me, and I did enlighten thy mind, and now I tell thee these things, that thou mayest know that thou hast been enlightened by the Spirit of Truth. Sa kaninga verses, para na ako ba, essential kaayo siya sa atong kinabuhi. Nabinasad na ako personally ba, as a member of the, of the church, sa kadugay na nga panahon, karon nga, minyon ako ba, diyan pa na ako masabitigid gani kung mo inquire lang yun kita with real intent sa atong kasing-kasing huwag maging sensitive sa prompting sa Holy Ghost kaya pinaagi man good sa Holy Ghost we feel comforted and guided sa mga mas maayong at mga mga decision sa kinabuhi kaya itong dili na to matugkad ang dakong gugma sa atong nangitong amahan kaya gusto niya nga kita magmalipay yun at kita mismo ang sunod sa iyang mga kasuguan kaya para ma-attain na to ang kanang eternity ba nga uh, families can be together forever so, ang last is how to receive gifts of the spirit according to Robert T. Hales of the Quorum of the Twelve Apostles in his talk from the Intent Magazines February 2000 so ma-receive na to ang gifts of the spirit through the following our baptism each of us had those holding the Melchizedek priesthood lay hands on our heads for us to receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. If we are faithful, we can have His, influ His influence with us. So, pinaagi niya, matag-usa ka na to, we'll be blessed with certain spiritual powers called gifts of the Spirit. And access to the gifts of the Holy Ghost is granted only when we live our lives in harmony 
with the principles of the gospel. So, ingon niya nga. Ingon ani siya ka-importante, sisters, o essential siya sa ato ang kinabuhi kung kita as member of the church, maningkamot kita ba nga, na magpakabuhi kita sa malinawon o mag- o magbuhat sa commandment sa ginoo para mudwell ang Holy Ghost sa matag usa ka nato. Na kay balo ko na sisters na labi sa nasa karon panahon na pandemic, dagan kay kita og lain nga mga pagsuway. Pero kung magpabilin nga maglig-on o mag mag o magbuhat kita og mga matarong, og nurture pa nato ang atong dakong pagtuon ni Heavenly Father o ni si Cristo. Mas mabless urgent ang tanan, we will be guided through the gift of the Holy Ghost. Padayon lang kita sa pag-ampo o buhato na to ang ato mga responsibility as daughters of our Heavenly Father and that we will reap the eternal blessings in the world to come. Kaya balo ko na uh, kaning tanan na ako ng disulti, pinuod siya o ako ni siyang ili, ibilin sa pangalan ni Isa Cristo. Amen. Thank you, Sister Malikai, for your talk. Um, we have a rest team to be rendered to us by Sister Maricri Suaniko, after which we will listen to our last speaker, Sister May Sanchez of the State Young Women Presidency. I feel my Savior's love. Induction and Covenant section 46, verses 11 to 12, it says, For all have not every gift given unto them, for there are many gifts, and to every man is given a gift by the Spirit of God. To some is given one, and to some is given another, that all may be profited thereby. Sisters, God has given each of us 
one or more special talents. We must remember that to every man is given a gift by the Spirit of God. It is our right and responsibility to accept our gifts and to share them. God's gifts and powers are available to all of us. But according to Elder Marvin J. Ashton, in one of his talks, he said, One of the greatest tragedies in life, it seems to me, is when a person classifies himself as someone who has no talents or gifts. When in disgust or discouragement, we allow ourselves to reach depressive levels of despair because of our demeaning self-appraisal, it is a sad day for us and a sad day in the eyes of God. For us to conclude that we have no gifts when we judge ourselves by stature, intelligence, grade point average, wealth, power, position, or external appearance is not only unfair, but unreasonable. There are gifts not so evident, but nevertheless real and valuable. Let me name a few from my study that can be seen during these troubled times. First is the gift of faith. Despite these challenging times, we choose to turn to the Lord with fasting and prayer. And let me also mention, this goes with a gift to look to God for direction. As some people may ask, With these gifts, as we turn to the Lord, we find an avenue of strength, comfort, and guidance as we learn to do so. Second is the gift to hear and use the still small voice. Most often, hope, encouragement, and direction come from the soft, piercing voice. Third is the gift to calm. As Elder Ashton commented, what a majestic gift it is to be able to calm others. We thank God for those who are calm instead of contentious. Contention stops progress. Love, however, brings eternal progression. We need love, more love. We need to learn to talk together, pray together, decide together, and avoid all forms of possible contention, especially as couples and as a family. Fourth is the gift to care. Uso ni karon nga pandemic, and we're witnesses to it. What a tribute it is to be recognized as one who cares. We've known that as we are in the service of our fellow beings, we are also in the service of our God. Lastly, that I want to point is the gift of the word of wisdom. This does not refer to the law known as the word of wisdom. Rather, it is the gift of wisdom, the ability to use knowledge in righteous ways. Sisters, do know that these are only some and even few of the gifts nga medyo dili halata kaayo nato. Aside from the obvious, visible talents that we have and see. My invitation is for us to look deeper within ourselves and discover these gifts. We can even ask our family members what we do have. Now, a caution, sisters. Remember, these gifts are given by the Spirit of God. We have received the gift of the Holy Ghost as we were able to comply first faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, second, repentance, and then baptism. However, a second requirement for frequent companionship of the Holy Ghost is to be clean. The Spirit must withdraw for those who are not clean. We need the Spirit for us to discover the gifts that will eventually help us through this pandemic. Well, we are renewing our pledge to keep our baptismal covenants each time we partake of the sacrament. Indeed, as we do so, we are blessed to have the Spirit always with us. I close with a message from Doctrine and Covenants section 49, I'm sorry, 46 verse 9 that teaches us that spiritual gifts are blessings or abilities given by God to His children through the power of the Holy Ghost. Gifts of the Spirit are given to bless and benefit those who love the Lord and seek to keep His commandments. May we discover the gifts that we need to get through these hard times and eventually bless not just our lives, but the lives of others. This I share, which I know are true. In the name of Jesus Christ, Amen.
which our closing hymn will be on hymn number 219 because I have been given much and then the closing prayer will be offered to us by Sister Christine Paruhinog of the Relief Society Organization. Thank you sisters for your participation. Our dear Heavenly Father, as you bow our heads before thee, we are so much grateful for this wonderful day that thou hast given us. We are so much grateful for the opportunity that we might be able to hear the speakers this war devotional. And we are grateful to each one of them for their time and love for us, for spending their precious time to share what they have learned. We are so grateful for the gift of the Spirit that each of the faithful members have. May we discern its presence each day. This time, Father, we ask Thee to bless us always, especially this time of pandemic. May we be able to enjoy and be grateful always as members of the Church. We ask Thee, Father, that may we be able to apply what we have learned in this devotional. May You continually guide us always and all this. We ask and pray in the name of the beloved Son, Jesus Christ. Amen.